Hi guys, over the weekend we received news that Liz Truss, while she was Foreign Secretary, had data from her personal phone downloaded by Russian hackers. This happened during the summer and there were concerns that Truss had been using her personal phone to make calls with foreign officials and it may include private messages between herself and the former Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng. But the problem goes deeper as it was reported that former Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Cabinet Secretary Simon Case suppressed this information. However, this brings us to the Tory defence, and you will not believe what Mark Spencer, the Food Minister, used to distract from such a serious problem. No, 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 the, the, the former Prime Minister clearly was hacked, you know, that, so that is the first thing you do is say, oh my goodness, I've been hacked, help, and the security service will help you with that, with that challenge. Now, of course, you don't always know, which is why you've got to be super careful. Mm, I think the concern was that she was perhaps talking on a, a personal phone and there may be some stuff in there that leaves her open to be compromised. Well, we, we all talk on personal phones, don't we? You know, I ring my wife, maybe there's some little man in China listening to the conversations between me and my wife, but... Uh, uh, you know, you've just got to be careful about what information you use on which on which phone, and you get a lot of help and support from the security services on that. And do you think that <sighs> Little man in China. Okay, let's park the racism for a moment and uh, focus on the main point here. If you have a personal phone, you use it for personal stuff. So when Liz Truss was using her personal phone, she should have been talking to her family or talking to her friends or talking to her husband or talking to her kids or whatever that's what she should be using her personal phone for not speaking to foreign dignitaries not speaking to the chancellor for example or the other members of the cabinet unless it's something about let's go for a few drinks or let's go and have a party or let's go and do something you, you don't use your personal phone for that because it's not secure. That's why the security services vet the phone that they give to you. They put on software that will protect the phone from being hacked. Your personal phone doesn't have that. And it's not the case that, well, if your personal phone gets hacked, you go to the security services because that's not their business. Their job is to give you a secure phone. If that gets hacked, that's their problem. If your personal phone gets hacked, that's your problem, and you should not be using your personal phone for business reasons, or in this case, for very serious uh, discussions that probably Liz Truss was having as Foreign Secretary. Now, there is talk that details rela related to the Northern Ireland Protocol were removed, were taken down or downloaded from Liz Truss's phone. So what sort of information do these Russian hackers have? But this idea that, well, there's a little man in China who's listening in, th this is once again completely unrelated to uh, the idea that Liz Truss used her personal phone for work. I don't know how strongly I can respond to this, you have two phones, you have a personal one for personal stuff, and you don't use it for as a secure line. You don't use it for communications with foreign governments or even members of the cabinet. You shouldn't use it for members of the cabinet. You use your personal phone for personal stuff, for family, friends, whatever, booking a restaurant, um, booking a taxi even. But you use your secure phone for, for what needs to be secure, needs to be protected in the national interest. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.